you are capable than you think you are wonderful than you think you are amazing than you think because you are unique in your own way hi how are you guys today so latest exam results high ne set so how is everything going on i know it's been very stressful throughout the year i understand the fact that for most of you the result might be demotivating the latest ins set result might be demotivating but if you remember couple of years ago uh, i made a similar video uh, comparing the results of aims with that of neat and then i even mentioned the example of usain bolt if you remember just to refresh our memory usain bolt you know who that guy is jamaican eight time olympic gold medalist who won uh, gold medals in olympics in beijing london rio throughout the continent and he has uh, he's been very successful sprinter isn't that obvious based on what he's achieved and you know the funnier part is i'm saying it funnier because we when we see someone succeeding in a certain uh, field or aspect we expect them to succeed in all aspects we tend to generalize it maybe that's a kind of bias and if you observe the professional journey of usain bolt after quitting uh, running he entered into professional football he played professional football for some teams and you know he utterly failed in fact in his own words he said his sports life is over i mean uh, here is a guy whom uh, has seen him succeeding like anything winning a gold medal several gold medals in different parts of the continent that too in olympics the same guy when he enters into a different uh, game altogether the dynamics completely changed and he himself said and i quote my sports life is over i mean what do you answer to this so just because you failed in one particular format does it mean you will fail in all formats or just because you succeeded in one particular format does it mean you will succeed in all other formats i mean why do we even generalize it without understanding the fact that each and every format is different and unique in its own way isn't that uh, these exams are all about you look into ins set it's a different format a uh, different pattern we expect a different kind of questions whereas in neat don't you think the format is changing completely with more number of questions with different pattern including the negative marking and the range of questions i mean when you have two different formats and when you do bad in one particular format why generalize it and assume that you're going to fail even without attempting the other format don't you think that's a very unfortunate and don't you think we are uh, just trying to poke our own eyes by making this generalizations without even giving some simple thought into it so this is what i wanted to highlight initially because i have seen several mails several students feeling very bad about their performance in the recently concluded ins set and i have seen them telling me that the paper was easy but still they couldn't even qualify or they've just qualified or they got a very bad rank come on guys come on be practical i mean just because you haven't done good in one particular format doesn't mean that you'll do uh, the same in all other formats no this equation cannot be generalized you must understand the significance of this so please don't generalize your performance or results based on what or how you performed in one particular format it's time to move on and focus on the upcoming entries you know a smart person would use that exam experience to understand their weaknesses and then work out on them in these final few days right before the exam and make sure that they are not repeating those very same mistakes which they have committed in the previous format that is i said so don't you think that would be the smartest thing to do
rather than worrying about rather than just getting frustrated or demotivated so this is something which i want you all to think for yourself and then decide accordingly because you all have the choice and as aristotle rightly said it's only during our darkest moments that we must focus on seeing the light why fear or anxiety fear that you would fail on the day of exam fear that you might not reach your own expectations or others expectations fear that people might point fingers at you i mean why fear and why anxiety anxiety because you don't know how to perform on the day of exam so why fear or anxiety i mean uh, come on uh, please tell me are these feelings really helping you enhance your preparation or are they derailing your preparation process or your journey as such i mean what would be the smartest move to ditch these feelings and to embrace the other side of the coin that is being positive and optimistic don't you think that's the best choice you can ever make especially at these final days of preparation naturally if you observe any life being being positive being optimistic seems like a natural entity but when we employ negative feelings in the form of past bad memories or future unrealistic expectations or whatever we are trying to derail this natural positive phenomena which in turn affects our entire journey the choice is ours 100% whether you want to feel negative and stay worried about what has already happened or whether you want to stay positive and optimistic the hope that you would fulfill your dreams by focusing on the task at hand the choice is yours 100% it's okay what friends think it's okay what in-laws think it's okay what your relatives think it's okay what others think it's okay what society thinks for that matter it's okay what your parents think you should respect yourself you should have the clarity in what you're doing and why you're doing and once you understand yourself and once you pursue your passion in accordance to your understanding of self then there is no stopping you then there is no friction no matter what no matter what others think no matter what the so called society thinks the choice is yours 100% In fact, human beings have this exclusive qualities of memory and imagination, two wonderful faculties which we often misuse. I mean, if you quietly sit and ask yourself this question like, why am I not happy or what's that really bothering me? You'll observe these two faculties troubling you. These two faculties, memory and imagination are there to enhance our life processes. and not otherwise again how we use them is completely our choice 100% as ralph waldo emerson rightly said what lies behind you what lies in front of you pales in comparison to what lies inside you let me ask you this question with who do you think you are competing you think you're competing with your friends you think you're competing with thousands of other aspirants because the exam is percentile basis so it's about your relative position compared to others in a given exam or given competition so who do you think is your competition the other aspirants right it's completely wrong because you are your own competition if you carefully observe the entire journey or entire life process as such you are here to enhance your own life process and when you are trying to enhance your own life process it's all about becoming a better version day by day moment to moment so if if i am a better person than i was yesterday that's it that's that's what progress is all about so i am my own competition not you not someone else similarly to you you are your own competition you're trying to enhance your life process and you're trying to be a better person in various aspects personally or professionally 
so who is your competition who really is your competition so this is something which i want all of you to ask yourself because in the name of competition we are really hurting ourselves mindlessly assuming that i mean it's all fear of unknown we don't know like uh, what if other person studies extremely well what if i i stay last i mean this kind of mindset is really hurting us more than helping us that's that's not the competition which we are really looking into that's a rat race i mean if we are doing much better today than our yesterday then that's what progress is that's what success is and that's where real competition lies it doesn't matter what happened yesterday it doesn't matter what might happen tomorrow but we all have the wonderful today today is all ours now is all ours so what happened for the past few months few years really doesn't matter as long as you know the value of what you have right now i mean rather than worrying about your past scores rather than worrying about your future result why can't you just focus on the task at hand and give your best isn't that simple maybe is it said than done not at all we have this wonderful faculties of memory and imagination which can be used to our benefit to enhance our life process by focusing on the task at hand it's as simple as that so that's where visualization technique really helps you imagine yourself in a position where you really want to be i mean just close your eyes imagine and you'll see how marvelous that experience would be just pure imagination because your mind doesn't really differentiate between the actual things that are happening and the imaginary things that you think of i'm not saying or i'm not asking you to trick your mind but use this faculties i mean why can't we use this faculties to enhance our present moment that's where life actually happens life actually happens now not in the past not in the future so doesn't matter it doesn't matter what happened in the past how your performance was but you have this wonderful moment of now just make maximum use of it and it's all about working hard working consistently and most importantly believing in yourself what what's that you're going to lose if you work hard and if you work consistently what's that you're going to lose literally nothing after a couple of years after 15 years 20 years or 25 years when you look back and say you should not have that regret or guilt that you haven't given your best i mean that's that's even more powerful and effective than winning i'm using these words consciously and the best preparation for tomorrow is doing our best today This preparation phase is not a self-imposed punishment or parents imposed or friends imposed or society imposed punishment. This preparation phase is an opportunity for each and every one of you to master concepts at basic level so that you would lay a stronger foundation for your post graduation and not just for your post graduation but for the rest of your professional career. And when you have an opportunity is it natural to feel positive and optimistic of course yes then would it be difficult to be positive and optimistic of course no then why are you making or why are we making this complicated it's because of our inability to use these wonderful faculties for our benefit it's time to use them for our benefit for our progress for our life enhancement don't you think so Every moment is a learning experience. Every question which you face is a learning experience. Every interaction that you come across, academic, personal, it's a learning experience. Coming to preparation as such, even on the day of exam, that's a learning experience. I mean, if you have this broader perspective, then uh, you have nothing really to worry about because you seek every moment as an opportunity to learn and enhance your own personal self or professional life so finally it's all about as i keep on reminding you work hard work consistently 
most importantly believe in yourself which is the key and when you're doing something when you focus on the same when i say focus it doesn't mean that you have to lose yourself but when i say focus it's about a mindfulness towards a task at hand which brings you joy and fun and makes a learning process or any task for that matter enjoyable